Hey everybody, we are live and today I just wanted to share with you my weekly grocery haul and as you can see by my bags, I went to a different store. My husband wanted me to try save a lot today. Him and his friends were talking. Can you believe it? Men were talking about groceries, but him and his friends were talking and supposedly they discovered that save a lot has a pretty good seafood and meat case. So he wanted me to go there and give it a try. So I did. And it was actually quite interesting. So let me just show you what I got in this first bag. And I'll get out my slip. And we'll talk about that. So as you guys know, one of the things I'm trying to do is to prepare for inflation. And I am trying to boost or build, restock my extended pantry, which some people call a prepper pantry. So one of the things I try to pick up each week is a can of meat. I did buy an all-American pressure canner, but I haven't learned how to use it yet. I haven't even taken it out of the box. I'm a little scared, but I will. But I usually pick up one of these at least a couple times a month. And Kroger's, the last time I picked these up, they were $9.99 a can. Well, it was $7.99 at Save a Lot. So I picked up a can of the boneless uh, chicken and a can of the beef chunks. Again, they were both $7.99, which was definitely a savings there. So I was real pleased for that. I picked up a bag of onions and I needed onions that on the top of the list was produce. I needed onions and I needed to get some fish and then a few other things and I'll show you. But then the rest of the stuff was just things to fill in. Well, I've been trying to just spend $125 a week on groceries. And one of the things I realized this week is that all the stuff that I normally would want to get, I may need to kind of push them forward, like maybe get some of the things this week and some of the things the next week. So I didn't get everything that I would normally buy because normally I just walk up and down the aisles and throw things in the cart and then pay that checkout. I'm trying to be more discerning and more aware. So this has really been working. So one of the things I wanted to pick up was some cabbage. And they have this cabbage at um, 59 cents a pound. And I couldn't tell from looking at the way it was the signage if it was 59 cents for the cabbage, which I should have known, of course not. But so this cabbage was 2.4 pounds. So this cabbage was a dollar and 42 cents. So we'll be having this for a meal sometime this week. I also needed onions. I only have like one left when I got the onions, my last grocery haul. So I picked these up and these onions were, the white onions were $2.69 a pound. And then I got some red ones. I don't know, don't ask me why I decided to get red onions. I just thought they looked so pretty in food and in salads. So I wanted to grab some red ones. The red onions were three something. $3.49 for this bag of red onions. So if I really needed to trim back, I could have skipped on the red onions, but if I got these red onions, and then I plan on making some crackers. And one of the things that I needed to make the crackers was some heavy whipping cream and some block cheese. And the interesting part about being at Save-A-Lot was I was either going to get either some um, Parmesan or some of the Gruyere cheese. Well, they didn't have that. They certainly didn't have it in a block. So I bought the extra sharp cheddar, which will also work for the crackers. So I got this and this so that I can make crackers um, later today or tomorrow. And the... Um, Whipping cream was just like a Coburn farm. So it wasn't like Manda Lakes or anything like that. It was just whipping cream. I didn't care what brand it was. And then these were a couple of things that I picked up. 
that are very similar to the Grand Rounds that I like to buy. They're Jumbo Flaky Honey Butter. I don't recognize the brand, but it must be one of the Save A Lot brands, but I thought I'd give them a try. But Jumbo Honey Butter Biscuits, and we like to have those in the morning sometime. So how you doing over there? And thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. You're far enough away that I can't read the monitor, but I can't see that someone is there. So thank you. Once I get everything out, I'll come around. So I picked up a couple of these. Now, can I make my own biscuits? Yes, I can. But sometimes hubby just wants to be able to grab a can of biscuits out of the fridge, put them in the oven, and then make breakfast. And I want to have that convenience there for him. I also picked up a couple of chicken pot pies, and these chicken pot pies were $2.79 each. I don't know what they were at Kroger's, but I thought I'll just give them a try here because I like the Marie Calendar brand. And sometimes we like the chicken pot pies for a quick lunch, especially if we don't have leftovers or I don't feel like preparing anything. So I picked up just two of those. So notice I'm picking up less each week. Now this, I hope I don't regret buying this. It is some kind of a Mexican sardines. It's soul mex sardines and it's sardines in tomato sauce. Now my husband loves sardines. I don't, I don't like sardines in the can and I don't like sardines after you've eaten them and you know, they're on the breath. I hate sardines, but he likes sardines and they like to take sardines for snacks, fishing and stuff like that. So I thought, well, this grocery haul is just not all about you, Miss Denise. Your husband also gets to have things that he likes, especially since he's paying for quite a bit of it. So I got these sardines and we'll see whether or not he likes them. If he does, I'll get more. And certainly fish is a good part of the diet and it is needed. So we'll see what he thinks about them. I'll let you know. Oh, and they were $1.99 a can. So typically when I buy him sardines at Kroger, they're 99 cents, but it's a very small can. This looks to be about twice the size of those. So I'm getting twice the amount of sardines, at least I hope I am, plus the tomato sauce. So these will be ready to go and they ought to be a pretty good little fishing snack or whatever. I don't know if they heat them up or not, or if they'll just eat them like that. But anyway, and he was in the peanut gallery there making noises like they might eat him for a meal as well. So there's that. Putting it over a bed of rice. Huh. The other thing I picked up was two whole chickens. Now, I found this to be interesting because I'm trying to pick up a chicken or two at least every month. So... I picked up a couple a few weeks ago, and now I've got these two, and it's the end of the month. So when I go grocery shopping next week, I won't pick up chicken. But this chicken was, I think it was $2.49 a pound. No, it was $2.29 a pound. The chicken was $2.29 a pound. I did pull out my phone, and I checked the price at Kroger. At Kroger, whole chickens are, um, I'm sorry, that's not too, too, too I don't think I did that right. Let me just double check here. The whole chicken was what? I think it was a a dollar twenty nine a pound. Yeah, the fresh whole chicken was a dollar twenty nine a pound, and at Kroger, they're a dollar nineteen. So Kroger's chicken is 10 cents cheaper, but I thought I'm not driving all over the place to try to save 10 cents a pound on anything. So I went ahead and picked up the two chickens at save a lot. But I thought it was interesting that the chicken at Kroger was 10 cents a pound. So picked up two chickens. And this is what prompted him to send me save a lot. They have this box of Pacific Whiting. It's a family size pack. It was five pounds for $11.99. And then what he will do is break it down into individual servings. And um, 
we had some of it, I should say, he had some of it last week and he really liked it. So I put it on the list to pick up another box when I went shopping this week. So this is a pretty good purchase. And then they had this uh, ribeye steak at $6.99 a pound. So I picked up a pack of that. Now I'll divide it into two different portions. So we'll have this for two different meals. And um, I did check Kroger prices. And whereas this one was $6.99 a pound at Kroger, I think it was like $7.49 a pound or something like that. So I did save on the uh, fee. Strawberries were two for five dollars. So I picked up two of those. And the last time I was at Kroger, they were two for 49 cents. But remember, remember I didn't get the savings because I didn't have my things loaded up on the Kroger Plus card. But so this was a pretty good deal. Very similar to what I would normally get at Kroger. What here? I won't. He said, don't let them spoil. Now, this was a pretty good box. They had ground beef at Save a Lot, and it was today, it was $209 a pound. Now, this is the 7327 cut. So 73% lean, 23% fat. And normally I like to get 8020 or 8515. But considering this two pound pack was about $4, I thought, okay, I can go ahead and work with that. So I did pick this up today. So um, normally it's $4.19 a pound over there at Aldi. Not Aldi, save a lot. Normally it's $4.19 a pound, but today it was $2.09 a pound. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I almost decided not to buy it because I wanted a less fat concentration. But then I thought, well, for that price, I'll still get more than I normally would. So I picked up this and I've got some leftover pasta in the fridge. And I thought, well, I'll just make some ground um, meat and make some sauce to put on top of that pasta. So we'll have that. And then of course, sausages. Now I like Bob Evans sausage, but this is just some kind of Farmington Maple Link sausages. I figured sausages, sausage. So with the rising inflation, I'll give this a try. We like breakfast sausage from time to time. And I like to pick up chicken legs because when I'm making chicken and noodles or if I'm making chicken noodle soup or different things like that, you know, the dark meat is what gives you the flavor. So whereas I do have chicken breasts in the fridge, sometimes I need that combination. So I'll, I got this. And what I will do, I won't do it on video today, but I will break this up into um, individual servings. So there's about nine uh there's nine chicken legs in here, so I'll make two packs. So this will be two individual dinners. And the drumsticks were on sale at a good price. They were just $1.59 a pound, which was a little bit less than the Kroger cost. So I got a good savings on this one as well. Picked up some bananas, again, part of the produce. I just got a small bundle. And one of the things that I do with the bananas is they start to get brown because I don't like them too speckled or brown. When they start to get brown, I just pop them in the freezer and then I use them in smoothies or you can use them in baking. I picked up some mushrooms because I got a dish coming up that needs fat. Now, one of the other things that I needed to get was leeks because I've got a recipe that called for leeks. They didn't have any leeks at Save a Lot. They did have green onions, but I've already got some green onions in the fridge, so I didn't pick any of those up. The other thing I picked up was this five pound bag of Martha White self-rising uh, buttermilk cornmeal mix. So you can make muffins and cornbread and all kinds of stuff with it. And it looks like it's a yellow cornmeal, which is what I prefer. So that's good. I have been looking for a five pound bag of cornmeal, just a plain old five bag of cornmeal, have not been able to find it. They did have the two pound cartons of cornmeal at um, Save a Lot, but I didn't want that. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and get this five pound bag of the self rising mix. So we got that.
And then the last thing I picked up was some eggs because we we're going to be needing some of those. Um, well, we have eggs for breakfast and you use eggs and bacon and other things. And I just needed some eggs. So there's that. So these are the things that I picked up today. Now, how much did I spend? I spent $116.05. So I've got about $6 left over from this week's grocery budget. And I'll just put it in the envelope for next week. So one of the things that I'm finding that as I put myself on a spending limit, then I do make better choices, or at least I think about what it is before I put it in that cart. There were a couple things that I did put back. Now, what was on my list that I did not get? Well, coffee and tea were on the list. I didn't like the coffee they had. It was They did have some folders and different things like that, but I didn't see any decaf. The one small bag of decaf that I did see them with them, just one little, like maybe a two pound bag, just one little section of it. It was some off brand and I didn't want to try it. They didn't have any decaf K cups and they didn't have any decaf folders or Maxwell or anything like that. So I didn't get any coffee. I was also going to get tea and they had like those big boxes of Lipton tea, but they didn't have any of the specialty teas that I like, like the Yogi tea and the, um, um, the digestive awakenings and the different kind of, you know, frou-frou teas, I guess some people might call it that I like to pick up. They didn't have any of those. So I didn't get any tea. And crackers. Crackers was not on the list, but I thought since I was there, I would just look to see what they had because I plan on making crackers myself later on today or in the morning. And I didn't really see them. I kind of went down that aisle unless the sign was just there, but they were elsewhere. I didn't see them. So, so that's my grocery haul for today. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys was how to cut up a chicken. And one of my viewers had said, I think it was in the last week's haul, when I talked about the fact that my, for my young homemakers out there, I am encouraging them to consider buying um, a whole chicken and then cutting it up because when you buy like the individual pieces, like the chicken leg and that kind of thing, you pay more per pound for it. <laughs> And then one of my viewers said, well, you know, it might be a good idea if you show people how to cut up a chicken. So I thought, oh, okay, I can do that. So I'm going to cut up one of these chickens. One of them I'm going to put in the freezer whole, but I will cut up one. So I like to put down a piece of wax paper on the counter. Get out a dish to put the chicken in. Let me give my hands a good washing. And I tried to bring everything over here today so I wasn't running around the kitchen and leaving the screen and all that kind of thing. And you know, I've always got a handy little bar mop town down here. And then I've got a uh, kitchen linen soaking. So once I'm done with this, I'll just drop this in the bucket and I'll go ahead and put these kitchen linens in to wash. All right, so I'm going to take this chicken here, and I've got it in the sink right now, and I'm going to open the pack, so I'm just going to kind of take this knife to get the pack open, so there's lots of liquid in it. It's double wrapped, so it looks like there might have been a hole or something, it's wrapped this way, and then it's wrapped this way, so it's double wrapped for some reason. Oh, there's a hole in the top, so that's why. So I'll go ahead and get it out of the package. And these are Tyson chickens. So that's a pretty good brand of chicken is Tyson. I've purchased that egg cobra before as well. So I'm going to just rinse it off a little bit just because there was all of that um, liquid that ran out of it when I opened it. Now, for you young moms out there, many times when you buy a whole chicken, not always, Sometimes there's like a little pack in the center, you know, like when you buy a turkey, there might be a pack of gizzards and guts and other stuff. So I wanted to um, rinse it first. And I know a lot of people say you don't need to rinse your chicken, just go ahead and cut it up, put it away, and then when you cook it, it kills everything. 
I'm sorry. I just cannot manage that. So now I've rested off just a little bit. And I'm going to sit it on this wax paper. And I like to sit it on the wax paper just so that um, it's just not all over the counter. And then I've got my best butcher knife. And then I will like stick my finger down in there, stick the knife down in there, and just kind of start to cut it right down the middle. And you can cut the chicken into eight or ten pieces. So I'm going to cut it right down the middle. Now it's cutting almost in half. Now I'm going to take the knife. And you can see right over here where the neck is. Now I'm going to cut that piece. And just cut it right down the middle. And a roast chicken is perfect for Sunday dinner. So now I'm going to cut the leg and the thigh off. So you can kind of see right here. Like here's the this little piece here that's got some skin there. And I'll probably do another cut up chicken on video where I can get the camera a lot closer. But for right now, this is where we are. Give it a good cut. So now this piece, this is your thigh quarter. But now I'm going to cut this joint off. So I'm going to cut right into the joint. Give it a little break. Feel like I'm sawing a log. So now here's the drumstick and you can choose to pull the skin off and get rid of a lot of the fat or not. That's up to you. And so I'm going to put it here in this dish. And then this is a large thigh. This was a huge chicken. I'm going to peel some of this fat off right here. Just kind of trim that off. Because you want to remove as much of the fat as you can. I'm just going to drop that in the sink until I clean it out later. So now here's a large thigh. And also there's a little bit of the back attached. You can cut that piece off. Or you can leave it on. It's up to you. If you cut it off, you can use it for chicken broth and things like that. But so here's this piece here, and I'm just going to set it in there. And now we've got the wing, and then we've got the breast section here. So I'm going to cut the wing off, and I'm going to hold it, the wing like this and cut like right down in there. So now my young moms, you're thinking, oh my goodness. The first few times you do it, it is a struggle, but you will get more comfortable with that. Now, look how big this breast is. This is a huge breast. I'm going to take this, all this skin off. Because when I'm cooking the breast, I don't need all of that. So I'm just going to trim that off. Drop that in the sink. Oh, guys, I've got a new title. You guys are going to laugh at this. Now I'm going to cut this breast maybe into three pieces because it's pretty big. So I'm going to cut here's, here's a piece here. Now you see I've got this larger piece here and I'm going to cut this like in half. So if you've got some littles or, um, you know, um, larger teens or hubby or whatever these are pretty good sized pieces particularly some of these like tenderloin parts of the breast so when i put them here in this dish this is a pretty good supply of meat and you can cut them smaller whatever you choose to do this particular one i'm going to leave in half and i'm going to put it in the freezer just like this because sometimes on sunday when i want to roast the chicken like I'm doing a turkey, I'll roast it this way. So this piece is going in the freezer like this. I'm going to put it in my food saver bag. Not going to show you that right now. 
And these pieces are going in the freezer again in my food saver bag. So here you've got a meal here and you've got a meal here. And you might even have a couple of meals because once you cook this, if you've got two littles, there's probably going to be some left over. You can shred off whatever's left over and make some chicken and noodles or something like that. So now let me just set this down in the sink. Get it out of the way. And I'll clean all of this up. Honey, can you come get the paper towels for me? I forgot to bring the paper towels over. I'll clean all of this up. Now, one of the things I did not do, I did not wear gloves while I was cutting that up. And I know some people feel like, uh, thanks feel like you need to wear gloves when you're handling poultry. I don't, I'm in my own house, so I don't, but I do wash my hands assiduously. I will wash my hands and wash my hands and wash my hands some more. So I've got that um, wiped up. I'm washing my hands again. And I give them a good scrubbing, so you're going to Scrub under your nails, make sure you get a really good scrubbing. And I'm not grabbing my Swedish dish towel or even my other dish cup right now. I'm grabbing for my paper towels. And then I will use my Clorox kitchen cleanup to clean up this counter. So I'm going to give this a good wipe down with the Clorox kitchen cleaner. It is the best thing I think you can use. Give it another spray down. And I'm going to do the same thing with the sink. Once we're done, I'm going to put those away in the freezer. And then I'm going to clean up the sink with this and leave it pristine. And then my dish towels and those kinds of things, including my Swedish dish cloth, is going to go into uh, the wash with my other kitchen linens. So as soon as I wipe this up, I'll wash my hands again. And then I'll come over and see who's there. Hands good wash, making sure there's nothing under my nails. Oh, this is one of my new aprons that I've got on. This is our herbal apron. I'm loving it. It works in spring, summer, and fall. I just really like it. I think it'd be really good if you've got a foodie in your life, someone that likes herbs or likes to cook. Now I can come around there and see who's there. So let me do that. Okay. All right, who's here? Okay, Lisa usually shops at Walmart and Aldi. You know what, Lisa? I was going to go to Aldi. Uh, to give it a try because I drop in there from time to time to just pick up a couple things. But my husband wanted me to go to save a lot today because he wanted to see how prices went. Plus, he wanted me to pick up that fish. And I'm not one that likes to go to two or three different stores. Now, Larry and Hope at Under the Medium, they will do that. And they talk about you can really get a savings by doing that, but you need to plan your route. So I could have thought about that. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I plan on doing the video on the crackers. Um, I was going to do the crackers yesterday, and I didn't have everything that I needed. So the video that I did yesterday, it's not on there. But I will. I will do the crackers on video. Hey, Dorinda. So you go to Costco and Sam's Club. You know, I don't have a Costco or Sam's Club membership. 
Oh, thank you. So I look good in all denim. <laughs> thank you. You know what? I just felt like being relaxed today. So I put on uh, this denim shirt. And you know, a lot of times I will wear this shirt when I'm in the laundry lab. But I decided, you know what? I just feel comfortable today. And it's a little chilly out too. So I want it to be warm. Uh, you often, you sometimes shave it. Look, look, look. Can't talk today. Martha sometimes shops at Save a Lot. Uh, okay. Susan, hey, Save Lots awesome. We love ours in Carrollton, Maryland, but they are closed. Oh, well, you know what? Uh, my sister, one of my sisters loves Save a Lot and their prices are good. I think for me, the issue is that I'm pretty much a brand person. So I've been used to getting certain brands or buying certain things. And I learned that from my dad. It was like, you know, we always got into this or the that or whatever. But trust me, I am learning some new lessons today. So as I try to save on our food budget, I'm starting to pick up more and more store brands or generics. Laura loves sardines on toast. They're an expensive source and good nutrition. Exactly. So that's why I went ahead and picked up those sardines for my husband because whereas I don't like them, he does. And you're right, they are a good source. Hey, Frank Perez. Hello. Oh, new to my channel welcome to the tnt community i hope there's quite a bit here to make you come back again i appreciate your stopping by susan whole fryers at save a lot for four dollars trust me those chickens were like eight dollars they were not four dollars they are big chickens but the good thing is um we had a half a chicken for dinner yesterday when i shot my shelves we had um some sweet potatoes that looked a little worse for wear. And then I had that half of a frozen chicken that I had roasted a couple Sundays ago. So we had that for dinner yesterday. Well, it was a half a chicken. Um, not only did it feed me and my husband, it also fed Mickey Blue Skies. And then we had leftovers uh, for lunch today. So when you get a whole chicken, it goes a long way. And like I said, when I was a kid, my mom cooked one chicken for, for six kids and two adults. Mm. Kroger's okay. Oh, so Costco finally got more whole chickens in after several weeks without any. They're up from 99 cents a pound to $1.49, but still better than other stores. That's why I decided to go ahead and get those whole chickens while I was at Save a Lot because I thought I'm not going to risk driving over to Kroger and then maybe the chickens are gone. And like I said, to save 10 cents, I'm using up gas to get there. So I just got them where I was. But as I think about building my three-month food supply or preparing ahead, and young moms hear me, you want to at least try to have two weeks ahead on groceries and then get three weeks and then get four weeks, but get in those things that your family likes to eat. As I think about that, I'm thinking, okay, so what was the priority today? The priority today was the fish that my husband wanted, a couple of whole chickens, and then the produce. So next week when I do my uh, grocery shopping, I'll think, well, what's the priority that I need to get today? And I'm really trying to consider what gaps do I need to fill in? What do we use most of the time and go from there? For my organic bulk items, you know what, Nye? I don't typically buy organic unless you know it's just something that just happens to be like right there i typically just buy whatever as far as bulk i buy flour in five and ten pound bags i think once i bought some in 20 i get large bags of rice um but other than that i don't buy a lot of bulk items there's just the two of this here so i have not but it's something i'm thinking about considering so Susan likes Whiting and Pollock, and now they're splurging on Rubenstein's canned rinse red salmon because it's wild caught. I have not uh, investigated that particular brand, but maybe I'll check it out. So Farmland is a brand of sausage at Walmart as well. So, okay, I got the Farmland today at uh, Save-A-Lot. So, you know, so I'm okay there. Anyone like Lytle? It, that L-I-D-L, is that that milk I'm thinking that's kind of a Hispanic brand of milk or or food? 
I've seen something, I believe, if, if it's what I'm thinking of, at Kroger. Oh, my. You got chicken drumsticks and thighs bone in for 87 cents a pound at Shaw's. That is a great price because my chicken drumsticks were, like I said, $1.49 a pound. So I hope you stocked up on those 87 cents a pound. At least got several packs for your family. Martha said they always had to cut up chicken. It's easy if you've done it enough. You just have to practice. So young moms, you just have to practice. You just have to practice. But the important thing is that you have a really sharp knife. You want to have a really good knife. And then once you're done cutting up the chicken, wash that knife off and put it away. You don't want to put it in the sink, the soap, or in the dishwasher. Wash it, dry it, and put it away. Hey, Steve M. Welcome. I'm glad you joined us today. My granny's garden. Oh, today is a beautiful day here in Indiana. A little too chilly to be trying putting out a garden, but I keep thinking garden season is coming. I can start at least raking the beds and that kind of thing. Hey, Michelle, I am so glad you joined me today. It's really good to see you. Oh, okay. This is a discount grocery store similar to Aldi. We don't have that here. No, we don't have that store here. And I'm not sure. Welcome to 1990. Wow. Hey, name twin. Good to see you there. Good to see you. And then um, uh, T. Fall says she highly recommends Azure standards for organic bulk items. If there's a stop in your location, there's tons of online videos explaining the process. Okay, I'll check that out. Looking for bone meal for your watermelon, can't find any. From what I understand right now, it's been a little bit difficult to find some things for the garden. I haven't even been out to look yet, but this is just what I've heard. But Sandria at um, My Blessed Nest, I think it's, no, not My Blessed Nest. Uh, what is her channel now? I'm drawing a blank. Oh, um, A Beautiful Nest TV. She's gardener extraordinaire. She says, start picking up those things you need for your garden now, even if it's not like the right season just yet, because there may be in short supply. Oh my goodness. Chicken legs, $2.29 in Minnesota, rather $2.99. That is highway robbery. Oh, you meant 79 cents a pound. Okay. That's pretty good. 79 cents a pound. Yeah. Ours isn't 79 cents a pound. And you would think they, I mean, I live right here in the heart of the farm belt. Even though in Indiana, we mostly grow hogs, we do also do chickens and corn and soy and all of that. So yeah, that's a pretty good price there. Yeah, and the phosphorus comes from Russia for some of the, the bone meal and the other stuff. So yeah. Well, okay. I want to thank you guys for joining me today for this live stream. Okay, Lowe's has... Uh, bone and blood meal. You might check Lowe's in your area then because Lowe's in her Central Florida area has it. I'm not sure where you are, but maybe they just haven't gotten some things in in your area just yet. So anyway, I'm going to jump off because I got to take care of the stuff that I've got sitting over there. But I did just want to come on and uh, talk to you guys about my weekly grocery haul. I'm trying to do that, letting you know I'm trying to do better by confining myself to $125 a week or less, and to be more proactive and uh, about what I purchased. There were a couple things, oh, that I was going to get. I did have rice on the list, the quick rice, the rice that like the Ben's original rice that you get, put it in the uh, uh, microwave for 90 seconds. I was thinking about getting some of those. But when I saw the price on rice and the other things I already had in the cart, I thought, okay, that rice is not a priority. I can just make a pot of rice, make a big pot of rice, that has two or three cups, put it in the fridge so that when hubby wants some, to grab a cup of rice to go with his quick lunch, it's already prepared and in there. So that's what I'm going to do this week too. I'm going to make a pot of rice and put some in the refrigerator so that we can just get it out. Oh, Ponytails, your sixth grader loves my channel. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad she does. And you know what? Um, 
they can just start learning about different little things in regards to making and keeping a home so that one day, way in the future, when it's time, she's prepared. So anyway, I am going to say goodbye to you guys. So thank you so much for joining me. And um, be sure to check out my uh, last grocery haul where I was a little emotional and I still apologize for that. And then also uh, check out my gene care guide. I've got two videos up that I put up about how to take care of your genes. And you can see mine are still looking pretty good. So there's that. And um, you guys leave me a comment too about what are your laundry challenges? and your homemaking challenges so I know what videos to make next. See you guys next time. Bye.